<laughs> like the big dick. I'm running. Hey, 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 hey. So, what hey. do you think of Duke? <laughs> What's right answer? What do you think of Duke? It was good. <laughs> What, 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 what did Nick say? He didn't like it? No, no, that's exactly what he said. Yeah, right. It was good. It was good. It was good. No, that's all he said. That's all he said. Uh, <laughs> nah, Duke was really all good. All right, places. Hey, hey, did you say <laughs> This is bad. <laughs> that was gonna Hey everyone, welcome to another episode of Chairs Comics and Commentary. We're going to soon get that couch back, but uh, until that's Chairs, uh, we're going to be doing this week's reviews. we got another guest this week. we got Wu-Tang yes, Warren over here. <laughs> and uh, of course we got Mike. And we have Angel. Hey yeah, man, he's not, you're not the newcomer this week. No, I'm not, I'm not. That's good, that's good. <laughs> and we got B-Man here. So uh, we're going to be reviewing this week's comics, maybe last week's comics or something that came out, and future comics. So... Uh, uh, we're going to start off with, uh, we'll start with Mike. Oh, so uh, this week I read uh, Spider-Man, Ultimate Spider-Man number one. No, you was... can't do it. I'm supposed to do that. <laughs> we'll talk about it. <laughs> so it was it was really good. Ne definitely not what I was expecting. Uh, I'm not going to lie. Like the first half of the comic, I was like, man, where's Spider-Man at? So <laughs> I was like, what's going on here? Where? I, I think need, it was I, perfect. I need this suit. No, 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 no. I, I need the suit. But everything else was like lining perfectly. Like it was such a good read. Right. Like I did not. I, it's just in me to say always see Spider-Man. Say his name. Say, he, say 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 the writer's name. Come on. Man. So uh, it was uh, written by Claremont. Uh, uh, <laughs> uh, obviously, Sal. Uh, <laughs> Chris Claremont killed it. But no, uh, no they did it amazing. Mike just no. What did they do? Yeah. It's Hickman, right? That's right. Yeah. That's right. Yeah. Yeah. So, <laughs> he did an amazing job. Uh, the, the 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 interior art was was great. That was really good interior art. That's what I, helped it. I like yeah, how they sure. depicted it. they depicted Peter that, like a grown that, man. That's a new guy who's doing Chiquetto, the yeah. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. 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 New, but yeah. Yeah. That's so the first Spider-Man. Yeah. That's his first Spider-Man, right? Like, so we finally get to see Peter as he's supposed to. Yes. But yeah. the other aspect of it, I like it is with this whole multi multiversal thing, is that he felt deep inside, like yeah, there's something, something missing there's something in my something life. Wrong. Like yeah. I feel like I should be doing something yeah. else. Yes. Yeah. And the uh, Ultimate uh, Invasion story arc did an excellent job yeah. of setting everything up. Yeah. Like the Maker going in and and doing what he did. Yeah. Right. Like I don't I don't know how much we want to talk about it, but. The maker going in and setting everything up, and for Peter, you see him. He's got uh, Richard, Richard and, um, and then he's got uh, May, May, right? Yeah. And then you know, uh, MJ just being how she is. You know, yep. she's like, yeah, I got you, man. Like, yep. you know, whatever. He still got the nickname Tiger. The yeah. only thing that you know. I didn't like, and it has nothing to do specifically with this book, is how they keep restarting May. I think again, this one is it's different, right? Yes. So, so uh, <clears throat> they don't. Ha the assumption is they don't have powers, right? Because yep, yep. He, he was never bitten by. Oh, and, and this, and this, yeah. And this, yeah. This, so, yeah. but I, I think I think that's kind of cool about it because now you get to see, like like you said, Josh, like the whole. If if not for Civil War and One More Day, yeah. this would effectively be the Peter Parker that yeah we, that we would yeah. we would have. We, right. we we finally get the Spider Man that's not just some broke kid yeah. or some broke adult. We, as we're kids, we really like seeing Spider Man because we could relate. You know, yeah. he, was, he was younger, but, but he as, he's not the trauma boy. But right? that, he's yeah. not dealing and, with trauma. And, as he's gotten, as we've gotten older, we want to see an adult kind of Peter Parker. Yeah. How he, and that's what was kind of yeah. cool about it. It's like, it, it, looks looks like, like it looked like the Parker Luck skipped this. Yes, this, yes, this, yes, exactly. Yeah. This yeah. Yeah. exactly. Yeah. Yeah. But yeah. I wonder what kind of Spider Man he's going to be, right? So he doesn't have the emotional trauma of losing his uncle. Right yet, yes. um, well, he lost me, but, but to a terrorist right. attack, yeah, yeah, but he, couldn't do, anime. but he couldn't do anything about it at that point, right? Time. He yeah. had not, he couldn't, you know, he wasn't responsible for any of it, right? His parents, yeah, they passed away, right? But like, what kind of but, spider what man traumatized him was because ben, uh, Uncle Ben died and he had something he had, he right. could have, he could have, he, he could have, yeah, prevented that. Mm -hmm. yeah. I think the other funny thing, as far as the book goes and the writing, is that J. Jonah Jameson. Is not the like yes. super, you know, yeah. that he is depicted as in every other book. 
Like he's got sub elements there, but the interaction between him and Parker, he's like, Parker, he's like, where's your tie? Yeah. He's like, all right, look, don't worry, I got you, right? And you know, he's having that father moment with yeah. him, where it's like, you know, I'm a square you away. And I think it's so. because of, of, of Ben. This is yeah. what they're, they're yeah. as like best friends, friends yeah. like that. Right. So the other opposite is uh, uh, Robbie, man. Like he's like, yeah. you know, he was part of the board when mm -hmm. they when they were in there, and yeah. he was like, man. And in the comics, he's like that stalwart. I'm not gonna bend. And in the yeah. movies, he was that way. And in this one, he's yeah. like, man, I'm I'm two years away from my pension, man. Yeah. So I'm yeah. just here to ride it out. Yeah. So, yeah. so that so he hit the, a lot of the right notes, a lot of characters, mm -hmm. and maybe maybe they did that with Robbie because he doesn't he doesn't plan on using him yeah. at least in, yeah. in this series. And yeah. Yeah. We'll see. yeah. Yeah. And the other thing with it is too, everybody gives Hickman a lot of flack for like overriding or whatever. I, I think can this say, was great. I, I, I think this was great. I can say, as somebody that is not ultimately familiar with Hickman, right? Uh, I think like he did a, a really good oh, job that, with writing that, this. That, that, like that, Ultimate sure. Invasion was kind of like well, he's, all over. So he gets that it. way when he world builds, right? Like yeah. when he's trying to build out this stuff. Yeah. And yeah. I think what worked with Ultimate Invasion kept that because it was a mini. It's yeah. Like it was like, hey, you got yeah. five yeah. issues to do what you got to yeah. do. But so that was my biggest thing, and, and, and Lissandra can tell you, is I said, oh, it's Hickman. Lissandra could tell us if he was in yeah. the <laughs> But I was like, oh, no. man, it's Hickman. I said, he's going to, I hope he don't over. And, and I actually, like I said, yeah. I liked it. He, yeah. he didn't override it. It was perfect. Uh, dialogue, everything. It wasn't worth long. But the biggest thing, like any comic, what's supposed to do is you read it and you get excited, and by the end, you're like, yeah, when he Where's had like the the the, the, the ad, uh, animated Batman scene yes. where he's like all yeah. he's all silhouetted <laughs> out, and it's just like, oh man, this is gonna That's be good. good. And, 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 <laughs> but, then, but then you're like. Where's the next issue? <laughs> that's what a comic is supposed to do. Yeah, that's what yeah, that's yeah. a good comic do for me. It's like, yeah. where's the next issue? I need yeah. it yesterday. You know, yeah. so yeah, so that's, I, that's we can all good. agree that Ultimate Spider Man yeah, was lived up to everything it was supposed to be. For sure. Agree, but for sure. All all the the first first runs that uh, they published are all sold out. Yeah, right? at distribution yeah. they're all at sold out. There's still some on the shelf here though. So. Yes, for sure, yeah, for so sure. Come on out. I, I, I mean, maybe, so, maybe not. I mean, we might end up buying them, you know, speculating, you know, speculating. You know, that was good. That except was good. for that Mark Bagley cover. Oh, uh, yeah, Bagley can go. for all I care. That cover was not, not good. Not his best. It ain't Eric Larson. I don't want to talk about it. I don't know what I'm saying. Look, I ain't going to talk about my, my boy today, okay? Oh, because you're talking about artists today. Because he could. We he are. Could. Uh, we're he gonna said, focus he, on the books that we He said it yesterday. He was like, yeah, Mike. Yes, we're gonna. But we're, what, what, what? Okay, we'll, we'll leave it. The ultimate. Right. How did you like the Bagley cover? So I also read. Spider <laughs> <laughs> I also read Spider. There you go. Number, one, uh, number two. I'm sorry, Spider Man number two. Uh, I'm liking that story a lot. It is like it's good. I. I it, it's weird. It's weird because I'm not being biased at all. I, even though Spider Man is my favorite character, I'm liking the comic. Like it's it's really good. It goes right along. Uh, with what's happening, uh, she doesn't feel like she fits in her universe, but now she's pretty much playing security for Dazzler. And uh, you read it? Yeah. So I have a question: Is the band guy so, him? So I think I think I think he he is. We're not trying to spoil it. That's why we're trying to dance around. Yeah. It. I like, <laughs> so there is a up until now. There have been major characters missing from that universe, yep. right? And so now, um, the band guy or the the guitarist, yeah, yeah the guitarist, guitar, yeah. the guitarist, uh, the lead guitarist of Dazzler's band, has filled that role mm -hmm. uh, of who one of those major uh, characters has been missing out of that universe. So I think I think he will be, which will be kind of cool to see. Uh, going through that, see how they finish that out and, and, and kind of complete that. Yeah, because it's it is one of the characters that have been missing because in her stories it's always been very Spider Man centric. Yeah. Right. So they're now this with, with this one they're yeah. kind of not dealing with the multiverse, not dealing with variants of Gwen. They're dealing like fleshing out. Yeah. Her What's universe. up with the lead guitarist? Well, his his name is uh, his 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 first name is Rick. His last name is Jones. So that, oh. that might kind of yeah, let some of you guys know yeah. where that's going if you if you've been in comics for a while. Yeah. Hulk out. <laughs> yeah, it's good. I get. I, I mean, it's good. I, I I like I like how everything is happening. Um, I like the art for some reason. Like the art is very kind of cartoony, yeah. but it's not like stupid cartoony, right? Like it's like it, it fits. Why are we still here? Oh, uh, 
I also read uh, Spider Woman, and I was kind of confused a little bit because I did not read the uh, Spider Man. So oh, if you, you no, 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 no. So the, uh, the Spider Man where the back, uh, where Bailey was where Bailey introduced, gets introduced the, the, oh. the end of the uh, Spider Verse. Okay. So I did not read that, even though I have it. I just haven't read it yet. Uh, I didn't read it, and I missed the part where she. <laughs> what? Reminds you. Can we just go? We're doing the review on the, on the, the King in Black, and I was like, "Oh, it's horrible!" Yeah, because you missed one issue. He was like, "Oh, I, I, I don't get it." Everything went by fast. Everything went by fast. Yeah, you missed the whole and issue. And I missed the whole issue because that's what I was in. I was in, in, oh, yeah, in the yeah, hospital with yeah, COVID. No, but uh, <laughs> I like I like this. I I mean, all the titles that I read, I was like very very happy with. Uh, Spider Woman, she's trying to figure it out what happened to her son. Uh, she died, and then she got brought back. Now her, pretty much her son and her husband are like nowhere to be found and nobody can find them. Uh, she went and asked Madam Webb for help, uh, on, Webb issue, help yeah. on issue one and Madam Webb was like, bro, I'm disconnected from the web of life so I have no access to nobody. She pretty much got no, no Wi-Fi, so. <laughs> uh, I finally saw that trailer last night too at the movie theater. Which one? Madam Webb is amazing. It's but Sony movies. <laughs> we, uh, those are the three uh, books that I read, Ultimate Ultimate Spider-Man, Spider-Gwen number two, and uh, Spider-Woman number one and two. I read them last night. Of course, you see the trailer, and my wife goes, that's the girl from Fifty Shades of Grey. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and I go, and oh, Euphoria. Crap, it is. <laughs> yeah. And don't, Euphoria. don't Google Euphoria. <laughs> it's a good show. Don't, don't do it. Look it's a good show. Sweetie. Move over to Angel here. So I, I read uh, Century number two and Wolverine number 41. Uh, oh, so, yeah. Yeah. So, <laughs> Century number two continues the story. This is actually where we first get uh, a character, Ryan Topper, introduced in in um, issue one. Uh, and uh, he, he, he shows up as a Century. So, we haven't seen the Century alive since King in Black, right? When when Null pulled a, a, yes. pulled a Century on him, essentially ripped, a, ripped him yeah. in a half, right? And so, somehow, his powers got distributed to other people. And we were talking about this before, where it's like the old show Heroes, yeah, and Siler, and it's, um, where he's going around. So Ryan Topper's going around to other people who got the powers because he wants them for himself, right? Gotcha, so, gotcha. and because he wants the glory of being, he looks at the powers as a blessing. So this is kind of his coming out party uh, to that. So it's a, another solid issue. Um, one thing from a speculation standpoint, so I'm gonna spoil it, is you know uh, Stephen Yoon was cast as. You know the, the century. And then he dropped out because of his reasons in SAG after and all that stuff. But there was a character that was previewed that everybody thought, "Oh man, he's going to end up being the century." No, nah, 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 no, no, <laughs> no, it's not going to happen. But uh, so, but right now, so Ryan Topper is a, so another strong entry. So it's going to lead in. I think it's a f two more issue, two or three more issues, kind of resolve that. Uh, so if you like the century. You kind of want to figure out who the new century is going forward. I, I'd pick this up as well. And then Wolverine Forty One. Uh, yeah, man. the start of the, wow. the start of the saber tooth war. And they, they had said it was going to be like the most the bloodiest, bloodiest yeah. issues. And so I, I would say definitely here recently, probably. Yes, right? for sure, uh, for sure, definitely. Um, two big deaths in it. One unexpected. One kind of that was telegraphed. Um, but. Uh, it is still continuing to follow X. Um, they are in Iceland. It's Sabretooth. The one thing I didn't like uh, about this is kind of like the same thing. You, it, they thought or they require you to read the Sabretooth miniseries to understand where Sabretooth start off at. They, they switch it really quick. Yeah, because I, I didn't read it, so yeah, I was kind of yeah, lost. Yeah, same way. Yeah, like, when you open it, you're like... What's, What's going, going on? on? And, yeah. and I, I didn't read yeah. So all those were saber tooths, right? Right, yeah, yeah. They were all saber Different dimensions, different uni universe, different dimension, yeah. And I was like, that kind of happen. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I was like, what the hell happened? So there's that. So one, he's eating somebody's face. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> Two, I'm like, saber tooth is not the, the, the smartest dude, right? So, like, how does he got this all figured out? And, uh, but, see, and that, th that happened with, uh, that ha so that happened earlier during Axis, right? So when Axis, when he became a hero and all that other stuff, and then he started slowly reverting back. So they kept the smarts about him, the cunning about it. Okay. Uh, which, uh, there was a nice little Easter egg for all the Wolverine fans out there at the end of the book. 
but he so he's good that he's keeping this cunning and this smart hunt hunt hunter type of thing. Yeah. But it was a little jarring in the beginning to try to be like, what's going on? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, that type of thing. And they switch it really quick and they, they switch it to Wolverine and you can he knows something's on the horizon. Yep. Mm -hmm. The way he was acting the fall of X and, and all that stuff and a lot of people are kind of uh docking or fang now, uh Quentin Choir. Uh, Laura Kenny, they were all kind of like, "Hey, this isn't really you. Like, what's going on?" And it's like, he, yeah, he kind of feels. Yeah, because she even asked him. Yeah, she's like, like, you know, yeah. he's like, he's like, yeah, 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 yeah. Like, if something happens to me, yeah, yeah you gotta be, yeah. you gotta be the Wolverine and all that stuff. So, you yeah. know, so it's it's uh, it, it was a good read. It's definitely bloody. I, I'm, uh, it's like ten issues. The, the Saber Tooth War is like wow. from forty one to like is it 10? fifty. Yeah. yeah. Uh, or it's forty nine and then kicks off in fifty. But it was it's really good. Like I said, two big deaths. If you're a Wolverine fan, you're going to love the Easter egg at the end uh, because as a Wolverine fan, you know, every year uh, since uh, Wolverine number nine or ten, the, his first ongoing, there's been a thing that happens between Sabretooth and, and Wolverine. It happens every year mm -hmm. on a certain day and almost in all of the history, Wolverine gets his ass handed to him on that day. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. The, yeah. 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 Know it. But it's but it's it's a great little Easter egg and uh I, I'm I'm on board. I wasn't reading Wolverine that much before, mostly because it had to do with like beast stories and all that other stuff. Yeah. So I'm I'm yeah. gonna pick up from here. It's a great jumping on point as well. So yeah. good, good I like I like that. You guys think there's just no nah, other than somebody's face pretty much he, he pretty much read the same thing we all did. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. All right, so I'll start off with this one because it came out this week. I think it came out this week. Yeah, it came out this week, but none of you mentioned it. And and you guys have been telling me about this book. After the first issue, you know, you got I was telling you guys and, and is this a Oh well yeah, I mean I was gonna yeah, I'll chime in with you. So, so so when I when, when Transformers number one came out, they all said, Read it, I read it and you know, I told you my big thing was the hour. That was and he just came off do the power bomb. So I'm seeing Seeing uh, Optimus Prime do a suplex, do an art, you know. Do, I'm going. I'm not used to this kind of artwork. Mm -hmm. And so you guys, are like, ah oh, man, it wasn't that great. First issue for me was. It? Mm -hmm. Then you guys said number two came out. I was like, oh man, number three came out, and you guys, oh. So, Angel goes, you gotta read it. You gotta read it. <laughs> yeah. So I put the put my artwork stuff yeah. aside and I started reading because number four came out. Which number four did come out? And I read it. And I just, it just freaking, it, it brought me in. I was like, yeah. I'm going, holy crap, this is really good. Yep. You know, the squishies, the <laughs> and then the tie-in, yep. and yep. the guy flies with the jet, it's Duke. Yep. So all those little things are really cool. And then the fourth issue, yep. third and fourth issue was really cool because, you know, Optimus, he doesn't have to save these people no. because he's just there. Yep. But he realizes it kind of brought you the... From the different, the way Optimus Prime was in the cartoon mm -hmm. to the movies, where you know, mm -hmm. especially like the first yeah, movie, so, what, yeah. what the Beast Wars that just came yeah. out, he was just kind of a dick. He, yeah. we got to do this, we got. But from the very get go, he stepped on that deer, mm -hmm. and he was like, oh, oh, you know, yeah. it, life is fragile. Yeah. Yeah. So then he's like, he's willing to even give the spark yeah. what he had for the people yeah. because he feels that yeah. he brought this war to, to their them, yeah. to to our world. Yeah. So. I was like, man, I was blown away. And of course, oh, you yeah. guys, I took the picture, set you guys in chat, going, hey, you guys, I was wrong. Mm -hmm. But yeah. transfer was like usual. definitely <laughs> on board for that one. Except yeah. for Bagley's artwork. And, 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 and by the way, um, Daniel Warren Johnson is stepping, uh, is not going to be doing art after numbers, uh, starting number seven. Is he going to write it though? He's still going to write oh, it, cool. but he's, he's stepping away. I think he was just for the first art because they just announced it. I can't remember the new artist, but they yeah. just announced uh but he's an image artist of Skybound. He's done some stuff for them yeah. uh, cool. and stuff like that. So, but well, probably he's trying to keep them. Yeah, yeah, yep, you know, yep. that's a big thing. Yeah, yeah. So I'm probably, he probably had like like three or four issues in the can before yep, they yep. Yeah. So, so, yeah. so yeah, definitely yeah. Transformers. I'm I'm bored with that for you. Thanks, yeah. you guys. So, I liked uh, <clears throat> I liked how everything was tied in. So you start with Void Rivals. You get Jetfire showing up, right? And from Jetfire leaving that universe or galaxy, whatever he was in, ends up. Science, going to train, yeah. <laughs> going to tra where the Transformers are at on Earth, yep. right? And then Duke is there, um, so you got all the tie-ins. So now I'm interested to see yeah. where Cobra Commander plays yeah. Yeah. in all of this because you know they're all tied together. Yep. But um, the Energon Universe has been amazing so far. Yeah, it's um, really good. It brings back the nostalgia um, of the old shows we watched, right? Um, but it paints the picture even better because it's a lot more grittier. Yep. Um, 
you movie people um, that do these Transformers movies, more robots, less humans, right? Make them squishies. It's amazing. Good writing. You can learn a thing. Yeah, do it. Um, then uh, just honorable mentions. Uh, the new Punisher series. I like that so far. I have, yeah, that's, that's talking about. I got, I got it on my reading list. Yeah. Um, like that. Uh, another one is uh, Thunderbolts. That was actually that first yeah. issue was a surprising, yeah, really good issue. Pretty good. Uh, the one that's coming out that uh, you, none of you've read. It's uh, Hellblazer. It's coming out. Oh, yeah. Hellblazer, uh, Dead in America. That's why we didn't read it. Because <laughs> <laughs> it actually was in the box. I said, you know what? I'll grab it. So if you, if you've ever read Hellblazer before, which I never really read Hellblazer until that uh, the Black Label book that came out. Yeah. That, the the, the one with Lee Bermejo did the yes, comic for Steve that, format. Was that was good. a great series yeah. and it got me interested in reading so when this came out this week, let me check it out more of the same thing yeah. really good stuff okay good so yeah. it's it's actually really good Dead in America uh, there's some special guests in there there is actually like uh, Morbius from Sandman he's okay, there he's good. in there uh, so, yeah, they got some other other characters uh, of course he's going to Dead in America so he goes to see he goes to the swamp okay of course he goes to swamp right. so you can get a little bit of that so that comes out next week. That's definitely one to check out uh, next week for sure. Uh, yep. So uh, we used to do this. We, you know, we, we talk about like, Ultimate Spider-Man. We used to get the dragons. That we used to we also get like dragons are like stars. Okay, right? okay. So you know, how many dragons? Seven. Five, I mean, yeah, we'll, 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 five we'll, is top. We'll five. All right. So I give Ultimate Spidey. Uh, I'm gonna say four and a half. I'm just saying four and a half because it was just the first one. It was really, really good, but. You're not gonna get a five until I, I see some more stuff, but it's it's there, man. It's like yeah. it's like four point six. You know what I mean? Um, I Transformers. Uh, I get Transformers a, a four a four out of five, a four point five. Um, really good. Um, there's some other things I like to see a little different, but it's there. Um, what is it? Wolverine. I mean, I will, I'll be a Wolverine a four because I like I have just yep. no clue. But it was a good issue. Yeah. Um, Without that was it. Did you? Did you? Uh, I agree with with Spider Man for four point five. It was a great first issue. Uh, can wait for the second one. Uh, Spider Gwen. Um, yes, Spider Gwen. I did. So you, you I, got it. Spider Gwen. I'll, I'll give it a, a strong three. A, a strong three, right? The story, while it was entertaining. I can't give it the same as Spider Man. Uh, you can't. There's two stories you can't compare. It was super entertaining. Uh, I, I loved it, but you know, there was a lot, a lot more to be asked. Well, that's it, good. I, it gives it room to grow a little bit. At the end of the day, it's still a Spider Gwen book. Um, <laughs> Spider Woman. I like Spider Woman. I'm gonna give Spider Woman a four. Uh, reason Man, being, Spider Gwen. But the reason is like the art in Spider Woman. It's better. Oh, way better. Like. The, and then the story it's linked as a continuation and it's a lot more stuff going on yeah uh, a lot more entertainment you know like more more, more bang for your buck um it's a lot more compelling the story's yeah. a little bit more compelling. yeah and, and, and it's two different stories right one is her looking for her family and the other one is she just being a bodyguard yeah <laughs> like, you can't compare but yeah those are mine spider-man 4.5 spider Gwen a three and the spider woman a four so i'm gonna give ultimate spider-man um a, a 4.5 dragons it's the same thing um i f for me what would have taken it over the top would have been uh possibly a reverse order right like if they would have had him debut in a suit like that last panel if that was the first panel yeah and they kind of said okay hey back you know and then kind of say how he got to where he was at and, I, and th those type of things yeah I, I, but I, I like the build up of everything and then Dropping but, it as but, the see, last. but you said like Batman the animated series, right? Remember yeah. like it opened the with, opening. It yeah. opened with That's him like boom. Yeah. Right? yeah, but so you could you could have like for me But well, we know he's Batman, right? right? But we also Dude, know this. Peter Parker so, so, Spider Man. So <laughs> This is true, however <laughs> Like the if you do that, yeah. like the climactic part of, of the Dark Knight of yeah. uh, Batman begins. Yeah. Yeah. It was literally one hour. One hour. You could go back and you watch yeah, it's yeah, one yeah. hour before you see him in the suit. Well, yeah. the movie. Yeah, in the yeah, movie. Yeah, 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 yeah. No, I'm, what I'm saying, is, but what I'm saying is, if you would have said, "Hey, that's how here, you would have like." Here's his. Here's that last panel. Here is a silhouette of somebody standing on a building, and then start with yeah. because the Ultimate Spider-Man story took place in one day. He woke up in the morning, yeah. went to work, and and, yeah. and and at the end, yeah. that type of thing. So I, that for me would have probably taken it to a, a five dragons. 
Uh, the Sentry number uh, number two is three is a good solid entry into that mm -hmm. mini series. Uh, have, I'm not really vested in in who's the new Sentry is going to be yet, and we'll, we'll figure that out. And Wolverine uh, again another uh, four uh, four dragons. It's the good story. We see where it's at. Like the Easter egg, it was bloody, uh, especially here in the last few. And then uh, we'll see where this ends. Yeah, four is good because I, I mean, that's enough for me to want to. Yeah, I, I want to pick up the see, next issue. I and see what's yeah, going on. See, see how, how it ends up. I may not read the whole thing through, but yeah. you know, I might catch the end and see yeah. what's what's, what's crap. Right, for me, for Ultimate Spider-Man, you guys said four and a half. I'm gonna give it a five. The reason why I give it a five is because I was expecting a Hickman book. <laughs> for me to like this Hickman book, because it's like really when yeah. little Sanjay goes, I said, "Oh, Kim," he's like, "Who's right?" And he goes, "Hickman." I'm going. <laughs> I, I was like, so, so he gave me more than okay, than, good, than, good. than I was expecting from him after I heard it was Hick Hickman. That's good. Um, Transformers, I will give it a four point five. You know, again, it it, it grabbed me. Um, a Wolverine, I agree. Four. You know, it, it was there and it get, leaves you something to get there. And uh, I, I'm gonna tell you, the Hellblazer. If you get a chance to check that out next week, definitely, I'd give that a four. That was actually a really good read as well. But uh. Uh, you know, thank you guys for joining us out there and up here. Yep. Uh, we appreciate everything. If you can, make sure you hit and subscribe the like button. But as we say at the Dragon there, it's always about the common community. Thanks a lot. Take care. <laughs> trying to give Sprite the sponsor. <laughs> sponsors. Sponsors. <up. laughs>